to get it. Asante sana. Gavana wetu Mheshimiwa Abdi Guyo, Waziri wetu wa elimu bwana Machogo, makatibu wetu watoto hapa nyumbani, waheshimiwa wabunge wetu, wakiongozwa na simba wetu wa eneo hili, Mheshimiwa Raso na wale wengine wote ambao wamefika mwalimu mkuu walimu wasazi na wanafunzi wa mjambu salamu alaikum god is good and all the time isiwe wa mjambu happy new year ig 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 asante sana Wacha ni some hapa kidogo alafu ni ongeze mambo mawili matatu. Um it is very important occasion today as we gather here to support the students of Isiolo Girls High School. Being the only national girls school in this county, we have chosen to make the institution count as a center of excellence and transformation in this region and our beautiful country. I want to thank the leadership of this county for identifying the priority areas of the school and taking the lead in finding a solution. Indeed, we cannot take pride in a national school which does not have a functional and well-stocked library, laboratory, adequate accommodation, among other critical needs. We note that the enrollment in the Solo County remains dismal at about 17 percent among other reasons this is linked to absence of poor infrastructure in schools low-income parents have no option but to contend the limited infrastructure as those who are able taking their children to school outside the county ultimately this deepens marginalization and inequality in access to education which is a constitutional right for every child the Ruto administration is deliberate in investing in quality education for all across the country. It is for this reason that we have committed over 628 billion Kenya shillings to the Ministry of Education to, among other issues, support full implementation of the competency-based curriculum and other education sector reforms. In the transformed Kenya, every child must have access to quality education. That is how socioeconomic transformation of the country will be of impact without leaving anyone behind. To transform the community in Sulu, quality education is a very important ingredient. Our women rep, the Honorable Mumina, an alumni of this school, is a testimony of what transformation in education means. She has emerged from a challenging background to an influential leader at the county and national level. In this same year in land, most girls face teenage pregnancy, harmful social cultural practices like female genital mutilation and early marriage, drug and substance abuse, sexual abuse and violence, among others, that impede access to education. In Isiolo, teenage birth rate remains high at 18%, with girls between 10 and 14 years giving birth and dropping out of school. In spite of interventions of adding FGM by 2022, it is saddening that more than 65% of girls between 15 to 19 years have undergone the cut. This is against a national average of 21%. FGM triggers early marriage after this forced transition. It will deprive the girls of their childhood as they start a prolonged, miserable adult life which they are not ready for. They are ready for school, not ready for marriage. Girls are children, not mothers. 
they must be in school. <laughs> Education reduces FGM among our girls by up to 89% in secondary education. Secondary education reduces teenage pregnancy from 38% to about 5%. Kenya is committed as a country to meeting the international target of ending this practice before 2030. Expanding education opportunities for girls is one of the strategies. We cannot allow the dreams of our girls to be subjected to practices that snatch them the passport to a bright future. The Kenya of today and the future is for all girls and boys, men and women. On this note, I want to urge the National Government Administration officers present and across the country to work extra hard with other security agencies to end these retrogressive practices, not just in Isolo, but the whole country. We are aware that the county has, not only about, has only about 38 secondary schools, with less than 10 being boarding institutions. Further, these scholars walk for over five kilometers to reach the nearest secondary school. This calls for massive expansion of infrastructure, and that is why we are here today, myself as Deputy President and our Minister for Education. The national government has allocated funds for schools for various undertaking. We'll accord, we call upon members of parliament under the national government constituent development fund to complement us in building modern schools that also meet the requirements for the CBC system, which we are implementing. During this fundraiser, we are elevating the school standards and performance on the national level. We want it to be an oasis of knowledge in Isolo County and the Northern region. On this note, I urge our girls in this school to concentrate on their education for better life, life ahead. Asante Nisana, IGIG. IGIG. Mimi na shukuru sana kufika hapa Isolo na nimefika hapa Makusudi. Because Isolo ni muhimu sana kwa serikali yetu ambaye naongozwa na Rais William Ruto. Kwanza kabla sija nena kidogo nilete salamu chungu nzima kutoka kwa kiongozi wetu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto. Ameniambia nimsalimie sana. Ameniambia anawapenda sana na anamfikiria kila siku na rais amenituma kwa salamu mmepokea pia rais amenituma na mchango amenituma na mchango wake ya pili ni sema nikiwa hapa rais william ruto na mimi tunajivunia sana hii kaunti ya isulu na kaunti jirani ya marsabit kwa sababu nyinyi wafugaji wengine walipotishwa na ile serikali ya hanshi wapeleke kura zao kwa azimio watu wa isiolo walimwambia hao wajumbe muombe kura yenu ya rais muachana na sisi nyinyi mlikuwa mmejipanga na rais William Ruto hapo kitamu na sisi tunajivunia sana kaunti ya isiolo na marsabit na kwa hivyo hata nyinyi lazima mvune mkule matunda ya kura yenu Kwa hivyo mimi nikiwa hapa isuru is by choice. Si ati nimekosa bali ya kwenda. Havana. Muna fikiri mbali nimekosa ya kwenda. Nimekuja kwa sababu njini wangwana. Kwanza njini unajua Rais William Ruto alikuwa hapa tw tangu 2013. Akafanya njini kazi, akachanga, akachangia kina mama, akajenga mashule, akashiriki na maendeleo, mukapenda ye, mukamuchagua kama Rais. Mimi sikuwa nimefika hapa. Sasa mkimchagua William Ruto na mimi nikaponea hapo katika hapo. Si ndio? Sasa mimi niko na deni yenu. Eh niko na deni yenu. Na dawa ya deni nikufanya nini? Eh mimi mlinichagua mkuu mna nijua sana. Mlijua mgosi wangu. Aliponichukua kama running mate, mkimpatia mkanipatia hapo. Sasa hata mimi lazima nikuje nirudishe mkono. Najia ya kurudisha mkono ni kuwa hapa kila wakati. Mukinita, mimi nitakuja. Sindio? Mutakuwa mukinialika? 
Kwa hivyo hata hii marsabit pia mimi nitaingia huko tumekubaliana mheshimiwa Raso watakuja wiki ijayo tuanze kupanga. Bimi niko tayari kutembea hii kaunti mbili kuendeleza maendeleo kumwakilisha mduzu wangu na kuja kusaidiana na nyinyi kuinua hali ya maisha ya watu wetu. Na pia niseme sisi kama serikali tangu tuingie tumefanya jukumu kubwa mambo ya masomo tumeajiri walimu na sita na hapa katika hii siolo mmefaidika na mtaendelea kufaidika kwa sababu lazima hao watoto wetu wasome pia ningetaka niseme katika shule hii mwalimu ameuliza tuangalie mambo ya kamro ndio tuweze kuondoa matope katika shule hii nitatuma watu ya kura wakuja waangalie tutaona vile tutafanya pia mwalimu amesema mungetaka msaidiwe na kompyuta si ndio kwa hivyo tutapanga na waziri tutalete kompyuta 30 ya kusaidia katika shule hii mumesema mambo mingi na kwa sababu nimekuja iko pesa nimekuja nayo ya serikali nimekuja na ya rais ya mfuko nimekuja na ya ya mfuko na hao viongozi tutachanga pesa kwa hali itafika tutakuja tena tuendelee mpaka hii shule isimame tumekubaliana paka hii shule isimame na mimi niseme ya kwamba hao watoto wetu hao wasichana lazima tuwachunge hao ndio viongozi wetu wa kesho na njia moja ya kuwachunga ni kujenga shule hii wapate pahali ya kukaa na kuchungwa wasiingizwe kwa mambo ambayo haifai na mambo ambayo imepitwa na wakati na kwa hivyo tutakuwa tukisaidiana na nyinyi kwa mambo ya shule hii mimi ningetaka nimpongeze huyu women rep mama wetu hapa Mumina Najua yeye aliniuliza pale tukiwa Ision Boys nikamwambia akae karibu na mimi. Akaanza kunikaribia. Sasa si ndio nimekuja. Lakini tangu nimwambia nikaribie amenihangaisha zaidi. Siku sema unisumbue kila siku. Nilisema ukuje tu wanzi na wale. Sasa huyu anakuja asubuhi, anakuja saa nane, anakuja jioni akingangana mambo ya Ision. Mtamwambia acha kuniangaisha ama aendelee. Unasema aendelee kuniangaisha? Nyinyi watu wa Ision hamna huruma. So women rep kaa karibu na sisi please sit down. Nilikuambia ungekaa karibu na serikali watu yako watapata matunda. Sisi na president yu tuko. Utakosa kukaa na sisi ukae na nani? Sisi ndio tuko pale saa hii. Na pale mbele. So women rep I want to commend you kwa ile kama utafanya kwa watu yako. Na mimi nitaendelea tutaendelea kukuunga mikono kwa sababu umeonesha saidika kupitia hii uongozi pia mimi nataka nipongeze huyu mjumbe wetu huyu gavana mlichagua ni shupavu hii ni dhuma anakuja kwa rais anakuja kwangu anaenda kwa mawaziri hata kazi ingine baya ni ya national government angalie kazi yake lakini mumsaidie kupitisha budget kupitisha sheria
wakati huu chini ya dhamana na sisi tunataka kuambia mkichagua viongozi vizuri Nikimalizia mambo ya Kuna tekeniko team ambaye ya meunda ya kuwa Dio hiyo ya poti kuwa ya kusaidia tukifungua mambo ya abtua tukifungua mambo ya eh, irrigation mambo ya vyakula mambo ya miraa inatakiwa hii region hii yote ya Mount Kenya ikuwe served kutoka hapa Isio na kwa hivyo gavana hiyo tutaharakisha na waziri na hivi karibuni mtapata eh, jia tutafungua jia vile tutashughulikia hiyo airport mimi kwa sababu nataka tu, tuchukue pesa dio muweze kwenda kwa msikiti na mimi ningetaka nikibia Nairobi tumekuwa na mkasa wa moto leo asubuhi ambaye imeangaisha watu sana Nairobi wengine wamekufa kwa moto ya gas wengine wamepelekwa kwa hospitali na kwa sababu rais ako nje lazima nikibie Nairobi kwenda hospitali kuangalia eh, vile kunaendelea na kusimamia zile mipango naendelea kuokoa maisha yao ningetaka tuchukue pesa na mimi nimekubaliana na wewe speaker vile umesema hii siono ni pati ya mlima Kenya. Nyinyi mmekaribia mlima hata mlima wa Kiambu. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo mambo yenu tutakaje tuongee. Mtakuja unajua hii mlima tuko na zile kaunti moja Kama mmeamua mnataka kuwa the 12 county ya mlima Kenya, mimi nitakaribisha nyinyi mkuje tukue watu moja. Mnataka mkue pati ya Mount Kenya? Ningetaka ukaribia watu ya mlima kwa hivyo tutaketi chini tukubaliane. Na mimi nimwambie nyinyi watu ya Isiolo. Ile atua ile decision mlifanya ya kuchagua president William Ruto was the right decision. Nyinyi mkae hapo. Msisongee wengine. Si ndio? Mkae wapi? Eh. 
Si ndio? Si tuende sana ni mteremko? Ni mteremko si mteremko? Kwa hivyo mimi pia nauliza hao viongozi governor huyu women rep wabunge wale wamefanya kazi mzuri ma MCA Rais Wili Amuruto na mimi pia mwakumbuke. Mtawakumbuka? Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana nitarudi tena Huyu mtoto tunajivunia mlitupatia mti ya maana. Mlitupatia mti ya maana. Na tuna kama pia tunasaidiana na yeye mlitupatia kijana mzuri. Kwa hivyo hatutachoka kumpatia tayari ni hodari wanafanya kazi nzuri. Na wale wengine tutapatia nafanya kazi na bidii. Nikirudi nisalimie Rais William Ruto. Mnampenda? Mtaendelea kumuombea? Mnataka akipata nafasi pia afike?